vlog. I'm Felicia Day and this is my show. We are in San Diego right now for Comic Con and I'm about to go do my segment for the vlog in the YouTube Fan Lounge live. But first, I'm gonna do my Fave Five right here. Number one, Comic Con is pretty much now known for spotting a star like, hey, I saw Robert Pattinson and he ordered a chai. Or, hey, I saw Felicia Day, she's short and albino. Literally a tweet. For me, I love meeting celebrities that I would never meet regularly, like comic artists and authors. The thing I got signed this year is a comic by Ed Brubaker. It's called Fatal, and it's a creator owned comic set in the 40s. It's very gritty, has a lot of bad language, and he signed it for me. I stood in line too. He recognized me. Number two, when you're at Comic-Con, you are gonna stand in lines, line after line. Maybe a line to get in a line to get another line. So you need to be equipped with things on your phone. My friend Ryan Koppel linked me this awesome iPhone game called Dungeon Village. So you can build inns, blacksmithing uh, shops, bakeries, sweets places. It's pretty awesome. I named mine Poopville. Number three, if you're coming to Comic-Con from LA, I would highly recommend buying a train ticket. It's very cheap and you basically glide through with Wi-Fi on the train and there's no risk. Unlike the first year I went to Comic-Con where a meat truck exploded on the five and there were no on-ramps for about 20 miles and I had to pee. So I peed for the first time at a cup. It was a Starbucks cup, it was a venti. I was so upset I cried later. Number four. I'm not into cosplay, but I do like wearing geeky outfits. And this new website I found, fashionallygeeky.com, has all the coolest t-shirts that you will want to buy and wear to any con that you go to. I particularly like finding this Etsy dealer, Go Chase Rabbits. She makes vintage circle skirts, but with really geeky patterns, like a R2-D2, or an antique Nintendo controller, which I purchased. By the way, first guy who comes up and says, hey, can I push your buttons in the groin area with the skirt? I will punch you in the nads. My birthday was last month, but I'm always open to receiving birthday gifts, FYI. A guy named Matt Morton collected every Commodore ever made, and now he's getting rid of his collection. And he thought of me when he was getting rid of this one. This used to be a laptop. It's really heavy. Here's the keyboard, and, and, and this was a screen. Where's my magnifying glass? All right, I'm going to go in and do the segment. Greg Aronowitz is going to help me be able to walk around the con floor with complete ease. In the olden days, this was a portable computer. I want to try to play uh, World of Warcraft on this. My friend Gregor Ronowitz is here. Is he yes, familiar with Gregor Ronowitz. Long time, field collaborator, graduate collaborator, producer, awesome friend of mine. He's going to come up and help me do the segment too. So give him a round of applause. So Greg, just tell everybody a little bit about yourself, if they don't know about your awesomeness. I am a writer, director, but mostly a designer. I've worked on some movies like Terminator 2 and Jurassic Park Lost World and... Um, Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider, you have like the t He has a Tomb Raider set in his yard. Greg made all the Avatar weapons and all the production design and makeup and on Dragon Age, so he does awesome stuff. And we are going to do some crafts today. And to help me, I'm going to call one of you guys up here. I'm going to spin the wheel of fun. Greg, do you want to be my band of white? Pick a name, any name. George Jimenez. George. All right, George. So uh, once we get all these crafts up here, this is what's going to happen. So basically, it's a little hard for me to walk around Comic Con. To be a lot more recognizable, which is awesome until I start walking to the floor and I can't get my comments or my guys. And my friends recommended that I put a mask on. <laughs> well, I don't have a mask with me. So, George, I'm going to steal your identity. <laughs> and I'm going to wear your face around Coco when I walk around the floor. <laughs> you might come out looking with a gargoyle. This is, uh, by the way, an official FBI identity theft kit. So What's the first step? Well, the first thing that we're going to do is do the base shape. <laughs> okay, I got that part. 
draw the basic head shape. And the thing is, it's going to be a mask, so you want it to, you know. Be larger than my face? Yeah. So it should like, be like. Yeah. So it's like somewhere around eight inches. Eight inches. Who told you that's eight inches? This is eight inches. <laughs> Loosely outline a round skull shape. I mean, that looks alright, right? right? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you taking so much longer? Yeah. Well, I'm actually trying to create a shape. <laughs> it's roundish. Technically, that is a shape. I mean, come on. It's round. It looks exactly like it. <laughs> you want to right. put that on my face? So now, I need to bear the test. Okay. okay. So now the next thing is we have to find out we need eye holes. All right. There. Set of my eye hole. Do I cut it on, on my face? Just do it for me. Alright. <laughs> oh, I look like a creep. That's creepy too. <laughs> Does this look like him? After a lot of beer? Draws out here. Really study the face. Have you ever posed <laughs> Wait, wait! You are not doing eyes right now. What are you doing? I'm doing the whole face. I'm just trying to, you know. <laughs> Can I give him really red cherry lips? Oh, George. Not good. Can I give him hair? Yeah, give yeah. some hair. Yard? How yeah. is that gonna work? How do I glue it on? You're gonna look like a weirdo. Look. <laughs> is that 50% George? It's more Picasso esque, George. <laughs> I don't like this glue thing, Greg. Uh, Greg, get it off me. That's part of the charm of art. Okay, ready? Drum roll! that he can wear or not wear. <laughs> I think that's a little bit better. Do we want to put together? Are you happy? Are you are? Thank you so much for being such a sport. Question of note this week will be done with a typewriter. Felicia, how did you enjoy Comic Con? Oh, well, it was a crazy time. This happened. Oh, and then this happened. Oh, oh, and then there's this shot that somebody else took. I don't even know where we got that. Oh, and then there's this b ball And uh, oh, that guy spilled a drink on me. Hey. Oh, I danced. I lost my voice. And uh, oh, who wants to see that? Oh well. More b roll. More b roll. He can send me sign. More of that. Anyway, it was awesome. All right, that's it. Thank you so much to everybody who came to the Geek and Sundry offsite or the YouTube lounge. Next week we are back in the studio with decent sound and and not random people in the background. And uh, I'm back to my spastic self. So thanks a lot. I will see you next week.